Hey Degrassi viewers, this is Deborah Roberts, video producer for Tower Light. I am Ashley Bell, assistant video producer of the Tower Light. And we're here today to talk to you about, what's the episode name? Army? Army of Me! Army of Me. I don't really know what that episode means, that episode title means today. It doesn't really it make sense to me, but could okay. be about Dallas. Maybe. 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 Anyway, let's get into it. Um, so there are lots of different storylines going on, as usual, Degrassi does. I think the most interesting one is probably Dallas' storyline. Really? I feel like, I don't know if I've seen it before, but it's like I was already aware of like racial profiling being a thing, so I didn't really find it that interesting. I don't really feel like it's done in Degrassi that often, though. That's true. And it's like definitely something you want to like talk about, because people are aware of it, but nobody ever really understands the impact that it has. Yeah. Um, it's always like, oh yeah, that's a thing, it shouldn't be a thing. And everyone agrees that it shouldn't be a thing, and yet it continues to happen more and more. So that's something definitely that needs to be discussed in life. I mean, it definitely had an impact on Dallas. He has the hood up again. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, that face. So angry. So angry, that hood. Anytime, Dallas in your hood. Anytime Dallas puts the hood on, you know that he's serious. The Hood in Dallas. <laughs> I feel like that's my new OTP. I thought Connor was a good contrast for him because he's so calm about everything and mm -hmm. kind of like, oh, so logically about it. And Dallas is very emotional, so I thought that dichotomy there was really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Definitely. Um, but I think I'm kind of excited to see where that goes for next episode, personally. I think it was interesting that they contrasted also with Allie and Dallas because Allie's a woman of color, but she's a girl. Profiled, yeah. Um, and that's also an important distinction to make because mm -hmm. I know on Towson's campus we get a lot of text and stuff about uh, like crime alerts, and it's we, always the same description. It's always a, it's always a black male in a hoodie. I would not be scared walking around campus. Uh, around any females, usually. Um, but as soon as a male comes out, you know I'm gonna be a little like iffy. And that's just, that's just the scenario, and that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of our culture, and that's just definitely something to talk about. And I'm glad they're having an episode on this. Yeah. But more on that later, because they're gonna do more with it. So let's talk about. Let's get Claire and um, Drew. Drew out of the way. Sure. Claire's cute. Claire's cute. Claire, you're Drew's so cute. cute. <laughs> look, at, look at this picture of Drew. He's yeah. so pretty. He's so pretty. Look at that smile. Is, that, is he smiling? I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's smiling. Yeah, he's just pretty. He's really pretty. And he's just like a puppy dog all the time. Yeah. And Claire's all like, you need a boyfriend. And Imogen's- Girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Claire's like, you need a girlfriend. And Imogen's all like, you're just hiding your own feelings. I know because I've done that in the past with Eli. And oh my god, if you hurt Eli because of all this- da -da 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 -da. And I was like, okay, Imogen, Imogen calm down. I, was, I wasn't around for the whole Imogen um, Eli thing. So she I was like, used to be yeah. so cray, and now she's a little bit cray again. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, she was all up in arms about it. And I was like, oh, no, you doing all right there? So Claire decided to make uh, Drew, I don't know why she did it, she made him an online dating account so he would have potential girlfriends and he got so much feedback that, that Claire she started, got jealous. She did get jealous, she doesn't want to admit it but she did. And then Becky made the comment, no not Becky, sorry, Imogen. Who? One of them. Somebody, some girl, made the comment that she's not his type and therefore would never date her. That and was I, Imogen, yeah. It was Imogen. And then she was all like, rah, 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 rah. so she made her own profile with now mm -hmm. a picture and Drew of course wasn't interested so now she's all down on herself even though she has a boyfriend yeah I, I don't know they're cute I'm like not super excited for like Claire and Eli to break up and for them to possibly get together but they're cute and I won't like mind them they're building together. up the tension pretty well mm -hmm. it's not like a lot of the times with relationships on the grass it just kind of comes out of nowhere or they're like well we need to get this person out of the way so let's do this person now they're really building it up and making yeah. me kind of root for it which is interesting which is good because Claire and Eli were, we're so just so established. good yeah it's just such like a E. Claire forever, and even I was like an E. Claire shipper, but now it's just because without him out of the picture, and they're really like slowly. He just hasn't been around. We've yeah. We've seen him twice, and when we did see him, his smile. I know, you like, okay, whatever. Anyway. Speaking of pretty people with faces. Hello, hot teacher. Hot teacher. Someone who's actually our age. Grant on the Yates. show. Well, maybe not our age, yay, but closer. Literature. <laughs> literature references. Yay, Yates. And movie references and things, and God, you're a douchebag. He's terrible. <laughs> I really hated this storyline. I thought it was stupid. It would never happen. Yeah, I don't know of any teacher that could really just exclude students like that, it's especially when possible. they're so new. Yeah. Maybe if they had tenure and stuff. If this was like an old dude with like hair, like growing around him like Einstein. -y. I could believe it more, but he's just like this new guy that just walks in and decides, I'm going to make students feel bad about themselves. I get it. They were going for a dead poet society thing, but it didn't work. You can't, I'm not going to see these Degrassi students going, oh, captain, my captain on the tables. No. 
This isn't gonna happen. We do appreciate his face, though. Just we so do you do too. Well, Here's his face. Look at that. Uh, but God, you're a douchebag. I really person. nothing else to say about that other than Tristan. I like the fact that he was really interested in the society and not like, oh God, he's hot. And that like he went for it. Yeah, and he was good about that. But come on, teacher, you could be better. That would never I happen. Hope, I didn't. I hope they it. change his character a little bit to be more teachery. Yeah, because douchebaggy. I feel like he could have been a really interesting character, but they just kind of screwed it up for me. But we really want to know what you guys think of the episode. Yes. So start a conversation. Seriously, let us know what you think. This is just our opinions. We liked it, most of all. I really liked Claire's little storyline, and I love Dallas's storyline, personally. Um, the teacher. Yeah. You're well, so pretty, but you're so bad. Yeah. Great. Uh, B minus. C minus. Yeah, so. She's a tough one. I <laughs> am. Tweet us. Comment below. All the usual. Subscribe. We'll try to be back next week. Um, and hopefully get this up more timely. I'm sorry. It's really late tonight. Yeah, it's, just it's been a long night, guys. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll see you again.